guys, welcome back. Quick little update, your homegirl is now a senior in college. Woo! Also emphasizing the word college in there because some of you guys may still think that I'm a senior in high school. No, I'm not, but it's a fair mistake because I still look 15 according to some people, so you're okay. <laughs> when your acting skills are on point. Oscar right here. Where is my... I don't have a trophy. It's also hitting me for the fact that I've been actually making the videos for you guys since my first year of, of college. So really you've all been able to kind of follow along and, and get glimpses of me growing my faith. So that's really cool. Um, fun fact. <laughs> there you go. But anyways, this year has been pretty busy for God, okay? Let me just tell you that, okay? Let me just tell you that. And one of the biggest things that I got to see this year was the power of representing Christ wherever you are. So I've always kind of known that you know, how I live out my faith is going to be a testimony for other people. And you guys probably have heard this so many times, if not from other people, from me, because I say that like all the time. This year, God really allowed me to see it from a different perspective, seeing a glimpse of how He uses it. And it wasn't what I expected at all. Basically, I realized that your girl doesn't know squat about squat. I don't really understand the ways of God, okay, until I get a glimpse of how he'd taken things that made no sense to me and turned it into something that blows my mind, okay, basically, basically. First week, first week, okay, of my junior year, I meet these two girls and they're super cool and fun and bubbly and we become friends and, you know, we're hanging out and real life conversation comes up and we start talking about things going on in our lives and... With that, my faith comes up and you never really know what people's response are going to be when you're at a secular college. Little did I know that one of the girls already knew that I was a Christian before I even said I was a Christian. And she shared with me as we were talking about how she had grown up in an area where there were a lot of Christians, but her experiences with those Christians were really negative and how they've kind of wronged her and approached her in like the totally opposite way that Christ would ever would approach anyone. She kind of turned her heart away from anything related to God. And she also shared how she somehow, I don't know how to this day, but she stumbled onto my videos and she's been watching them. And basically she said that watching how I live out my faith and how I love as a Christian and how I live as a Christian gave her hope that there was something more to all of this, you know, despite the fact that she has been hurt by Christians, she was also in a way encouraged by a Christian. It's sad to think that I was the first person that she encountered up until her early 20s that had given her a different view of what Christ-like living looked like. So that showed me how God began using my faith as a testimony way before I even met her. Same goes with you, like how you live out your your reputation on campus or you know just your character, your presence, that will go a long way. It might reach people before you even get to them. So here's point number one. God will use your faith to build bridges with those who have been wronged. It, that in itself is so <laughs> massive. But throughout the year, God brought me along to another person and this person was searching even though I had no idea that person had been searching. I really felt like God was saying for me to just devote my time to mentoring people, spending time and, and nurturing people's faith. And I was thinking specifically Christians from the Christian club. And so I thought, you know, I need more time, which means I should quit my job. And God was like, psych, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. That's not gonna happen. So what I did was I quit my job, okay? I quit it, got called back into it, like full on. It turned out that God had placed me at that job the whole time so that I would eventually be at the path when someone was going to cross me who needed me and who was ready to come to him. And I was trying to leave to do what I thought I could do if I had left but when really I was supposed to have stayed 
Yeah. <laughs> I tried to make things happen my way when really got like corrected and was like, no, you need to stay at your job because that's where I placed you and that's where I'm going to use you. So stop trying to make things happen. And I was there for someone who was going through an unbelievable amount of, of things happening in her life with her health and her situation. Some time down that road, she turned to me and she said, I want to start my relationship with God. And that threw me off you guys so hard. It was amazing, but it wasn't me doing it at all. It was like so humbling to see the fact that God just dangled me at the right time in front of her and did the rest of the work, but I just needed to be there to give her that final encouragement, that final push and to be there for her. So point number two is you may be exactly where God wants you to be in order to reach those who are searching. And then there was also two other young women who I really, really wanted to mentor and I couldn't because I didn't have enough time. My workload was kind of crazy. I could not be there for them the way that I thought I needed to be in order for there to be some form of impact. Again, as always, I was wrong. I'm wrong a lot, in case you haven't noticed. Little moments that I thought weren't enough, that I thought weren't substantial and having any real impact. You know, if you're not spending too much time with someone, how could you really impact them? And, and so those moments that seemed so simple and not enough meant a lot more to them than I had imagined. By watching me with all my faults running after God, it pushed them to also run after God. So God took all of those little bits and he worked them for good. Bringing us to point number three, when you step out towards others, God will step in in amazing ways. But it takes that first step to come from you even if they seem small and insignificant. Being vulnerable about your faith is scary because when you're open about who you are in Christ and people know that, then people can turn away from you and some people will turn towards you and that happens. It is not your job to change the hearts of people. It is your job to watch your own heart and to let God or trust God with everyone else's. Remain Christ-like to them in any situation and God will use that. He will use you and He will use your faith as a testimony, whether you realize it or not. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it served as an encouragement and a reminder that God is using you, okay? He's using your butt. Just get out there and uh, represent, okay, basically. If you haven't already subscribed and joined the family, that you are more than welcome to join us and to be a part of this process of figuring out life. You're more than welcome to join, so make sure you do subscribe before you go. Also, please leave your sweet comments down below before you go because you know how I roll. Oh, damn, she is corny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also, don't leave yet because I got some announcements. Okay, don't, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere yet. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so I can know that you liked it. Big news, you guys, that today, today, Tyler Moody releases his fourth EP, and if you don't recognize the name Tyler Moody, you probably know him as Northern Wonder, and he's releasing his new EP today, so if you're into electropop music, then you should definitely check it out, and if, in case you haven't noticed it, I've been playing his songs in the background this whole time because I'm slick. I am slick like that. Okay, okay. Make sure you guys go check it out. The second really big news you guys that I have to share with you is that your girl is going to the Dominican Republic to practice her level two Spanish. I'm actually going to serve for about a month and I'll be going to serve at a Young Life camp which some of you guys may have heard of before. So I definitely want to encourage you to be praying for your girl to get provision and protection and wisdom from God. I have to raise about $3,000 in order to go and serve so I have attached down below a link with all the information about the trip. If you want to join me you can by giving online. You get to support me and um, make it possible for me to go make sure to share that with friends make sure to share that with loved ones to share that with your church if they would like to join in and hear more about it I'd love to get in touch with your church be safe be blessed and I'll see you next time bye